friends, a lot of you have been asking me to do a Tamagotchi full collection video and I am going to do that, I would love to do that, but first, I think a lot of you need a little bit of education because a lot of the times when I talk about Tamagotchis, people are like, oh, Tamagotchis, I remember those, or oh, I remember those, I had those. And that to me implies that you forgot about them at some point, or think that they're out of production. Even though Tamagotchi releases in North America and Europe and other parts of the world have been very sparse the last 10 15 years, they've been going strong and continually releasing them in Japan. And then people are often confused when they see these and they're like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I figured I'd give you a little bit of background and explain all of the Tamagotchi releases you may have missed out on seeing that you have a little bit of background before I make my collection video. Tamagotchi is a combination of the Japanese word tamago and the romaji-sized word for watch because it's like a small little egg watch game. Tamagotchi. I always thought that it was a variation of the word tomodachi, which is friend, and I thought it was just like an egg friend maybe, but I don't know. The first Tamagotchi was released in Japan in 1996 and then was released worldwide in 1997. So in 2016, Tamagotchi celebrated its 20 year anniversary, and in 2017, it's the world 20th anniversary, I guess, and they actually re released this style. Yeah, so in Japan they released these original, they re-released these original shells. There's two variations of it, the P1 and the P2. You can tell the difference because of the backgrounds on it, and I think there might have been different games too. The next Tamagotchi release was the Tamagotchi Angel, which was released worldwide. I never owned one. I've still never owned one. The next Tamagotchis released were the Mesuchi and Osuchi. I can never remember that. I never owned them either. Uh, they were kind of inspired by the Digimon interlocking idea. So the Mesuchi and Osu Osuchi, they were, one was always male and one was always female, and then they had little tops of the egg that kind of snapped off, and then you pushed them together, and then when you separated them, there would be a baby boy with the boy and a baby girl with the girl, I'm pretty sure. And that's how you kept the generations going, and I'm pretty sure that they were sold together. And they were only released in Japan. Also in 1997, the Gen... Gen Gichi is a, a caveman-themed Tamagotchi. In Japan only, the Mothra Tamagotchi was released in December of 1997 in order to promote the release, the re-release of the Mothra movies. Then the Tamagotchi Garden was released, the Mori de Haken Tamagotchi. It was released in February of 1998. This release and the Tamagotchi Ocean, which I will get to, um, as far as I know, these are the only two Tamagotchis that would have a predator come into the screen and you'd have to defend them against it. So not only do you have to worry about raising your Tamagotchi, but you have to protect them with the Tamagotchi Garden, you also had to control the temperature and humidity in it while it was in its cocoon phase, which lasted for, I believe, 24 hours. Then the Tamagotchi Ocean was released in 1998, and I don't think it was released in North America, but I believe it was released in Australia. There is an English version of it, but it's super rare. That was kind of a time where the original Tamagotchi was sort of losing interest. In the West, the Tamagotchi Ocean is known as being one of the most difficult Tamagotchis to keep alive. Just, I've run mine a bunch of times and never been able to get it past like the toddler stage. In May of 1998, the Tamagotchi Devil was released. It was kind of the opposite of Tamagotchi Angel. The Devil Gotchi was only released in Japan. It was later modified and released, I believe in Europe, for cell phones and was known as Tamagotchi Monster. Then, in September of 1998, the Yasashi Tamagotchi was released. Yasashi literally means easy, so it's the easy Tamagotchi, and it was very big. It's like this big. It's also very hard to find these days, and there was buttons along the top, and so instead of having the menu, and you sort of sort through the menu with the buttons, the actual buttons were the menu tabs, so if you wanted to open it, you just pushed 
the button for that. Then in December of 1998, the Santa Tamagotchi was released. That covers sort of the first wave of Tamagotchis, and then came the wave of Tamagotchi connections. My brain gets a little bit confused with these ones because they had the same sort of shelves between the worldwide releases and the Japanese releases, but then they were named different things and had different features. So I'm gonna go through the North America and European and all of the basically non-Japanese releases, and then I'm gonna go through the Japanese releases and compare them. The first one was the Tamagotchi Connection version one. It was just the round Tamagotchi, it didn't have an antenna yet, and it had the capability to connect Tamagotchis for the first time. The Tamagotchi one is equivalent to the Japanese Tamagotchi Plus. The second Tamagotchi Connection was version two. It was equivalent to the K Plus in Japan. It introduced gachi points, which you could play games to earn money, which in Tamagotchi, they're currencies, gachi points. You could buy items and food with it. With this release, you could also give Tamagotchis that you connected with gifts or presents. The Tamagotchi Chibi, or the Tamagotchi Mini, was a smaller Tamagotchi that had less games and it focused more towards just the growth of the Tamagotchi, just the growth and care. Tamagotchi version 3 was released in 2006 and it was the first of the Tamagotchi connections to have a little antenna on top of it. I believe this version, Tamagotchi V3, is comparable to the Keitai. The Tamagotchi V3 introduced over 52 new characters and the ability to connect to Tamatown.com. And Tamatown, oh, I could make a whole separate video about Tamatown. It just had little mini games that were really adorable, and like, I remember there was like a movie theater you could watch, and it would give you codes that you would then enter in your Tamagotchi, and it would give you those items. Tamagotchi V4 and V4.5 also had antennas, and they were the first in North America and Europe to introduce career and school for Tamagotchi. Tamagotchi version 5 and version 5.5 Celebrity. These versions were only released in North America, Australia, and New Zealand. It was based on the Royal Dream Family Japanese version. Tamagotchi version 6 was the music star, and this was kind of the end of the Tamagotchi connection releases. Then in fall of 2010, the Tamago was released, and it had an online feature to it, I believe also called Tamatown, but it wasn't like the original one. At that point, I was playing Japanese Tamagotchis and I felt like the Tamago was just kind of like dumbed down. Unnecessarily huge. It had these cool figures that would snap on the top of it and it had like a little chip in it which would give you items or characters in the game. Then the Tamagotchi IDL was released in Japan, which I know is kind of strange because I just jumped from Western releases to now Japanese, but the IDL was released in English, but only in China and in Herod's in England. In 2013, the Tamagotchi Friends was released in Europe and it was released in North America in 2014 exclusively to Toys R Us. And then Tamagotchi Dream Friends was released in 2015 and it was released in Europe and then exclusively at Hot Topic. Okay, now we're gonna kind of backtrack to 2004 and go through the modern Japanese releases. First was the Tamagotchi Plus in 2004, or the K Plus, and it was the first connection Tamagotchi, but it could also connect to your phone, which is pretty cool. Then came the Tamagotchi Plus Akai, which was a Tamagotchi with red pixels, and it could connect to other Tamagotchis, cell phones, and also it introduced the Dekas in Tamagotchi stores and in toy stores and electronic stores in Japan, where you could connect to them and play mini games and get special items. Then came the Hanaruchi, which was a Tamagotchi that was released for a show. Then came the end Tama and it was connectable to the computer. It had its website I believe was eTamago. This was also the first Tamagotchi to introduce jobs and skills. Then came the Uda Tamagotchi which was released in 2006 and it had a blue pixel screen. The Tamago Chu was released in 2007 and it didn't focus on like the health of the Tamagotchi food 
wasn't really important and there wasn't any sickness. It was more about establishing relationships. The Tamagotchu was sold with two Tamagotchis together and then they had a little connection port at the bottom and you would connect them and try to make them have a good relationship. Then in 2007, the Oden Kun Tamagotchi was released. The characters were all food ingredients that go into making Oden. Then in 2008, we have the Royal Family Tamagotchi Plus. Then towards the end of 2008, we get the Tamagotchi Plus Color, which was the first Tamagotchi to have a fully backlit and colored LCD screen. The Tamagotchi Plus Color also changed shape again. It kind of went back more towards an egg shape rather than a round shape and it was significantly bigger. Then there was the Hexagonchi, which was a variation of the Tamagotchi Plus Color. It was based off of a quiz game show. Then came the Tamagotchi ID, which had connectivity to an online website. It had mobile accessibility and downloadable content from cell phones. It introduced a lot of new characters, including my personal favorite, Love Lichi or Lovelin, who is like a pop star Tamagotchi. The Tamagotchi Nano was released in connection with the Tamagotchi ID, and it was similar to the Chibi and Mini in that it didn't focus on games. It didn't have any games, it was just raising a Tamagotchi and you could connect it with your ID. Then the Tamagotchi IDL was released. The IDL introduced more downloadable content. You could also connect it to Tamagotchi stations in Japan. In 2012, the Tamagotchi P was released, or the Tamagotchi Pierce. And this Tamagotchi featured these little chips and little clips that you would put into them with downloadable content. The Tamagotchi P did a lot of collaborations with um, other animes and different characters. So there's like a Sanrio one, and there's an Aikatsu one, and a whole bunch. Disney. Then came the Tamagotchi for you, and this Tamagotchi was geared towards women in their 20s, whereas Tamagotchis previously had been geared more towards children. The Tamagotchi for you connected by NFC rather than IR ports, and there were little barcodes and spots around Japan that you could connect your Tamagotchi to to get more content. There's a Tamagotchi collector called Mr. Blinky who's done a lot of cool conversions and like translations of Japanese stuff. They have a full way to like get the app in English and download it using a phone that has an NFC capability. Then lastly, in 2016, the Tamagotchi Mix was released, which is another color screen Tamagotchi. This one brought back the IR ports and you can, this is really cool, it's the first Tamagotchi that you can actually play with genetics. You can raise a Tamagotchi and then marry it off and their offspring will be a mix of the two. So there's the original Tamagotchi mix, the 20th anniversary Tamagotchi mix, which also introduces back some of the old characters from the original Tamagotchis, the Sanrio mix, which introduces a bunch of Sanrio characters, and the Dream mix. I believe that's all of the Tamagotchi mix releases there are. I think that the Tamagotchi mix is my favorite release so far because you can mix all of the different Tamagotchis together and have different outcomes and you get to go to different locations within the Tamagotchi itself. I think that wraps all of the Tamagotchi releases. I hope that I covered all of them. Thank you for sticking with me for this long video and hopefully now you have a little bit of an idea of Tamagotchi and wh what it's been doing the last 20 years. So when I show you my whole collection, you'll know a little bit already. Please let me know in the comments below what Tamagotchi you had as a kid, what one stands out to you the most, or your favorite. Until next time, stay lovely!